Hello guys, today we are going to solve this lit code question which is count elements with maximum frequency and in this question <coughs> we are basically uh, given an array nums consisting of only positive integers and we need to return the total frequencies of elements in the in array nums such that those elements all have the maximum frequency so the frequency of an element is the number of occurrences of that element in that array so Let's try to understand this with an example. Uh, I, I just took this example here. So basically we are given this example. W what they are asking is we just need to find the frequencies of all the elements. If you look here, 1. 1 is occurring 1 and 2 times, right? So 1 is occurring 2 times and 2 is occurring 2 times, 3 is occurring 1 time and 4 is occurring 1 time. So what is the maximum frequency in this array? What is the maximum frequency? 2, right? So, 1 and 2 are occurring 2 times. So, this is the maximum frequency. So, we need to add all the frequencies whose value is 2, right? What are the frequencies whose values are 2? These 2, right? So, I will add these 2, 2 plus 2. It is 4, right? So, my answer is 4. That's it. So, if you look at this example, we have 1 occurring 1 time. 2 is occurring one time, 3 is occurring one time, 4 is occurring one time, and 5 is occurring one time. So these are the frequencies. And what is my maximum frequency? My maximum frequency is 1, right? So I need to add all the frequencies. Uh, I need to add all the frequencies whose value is equal to the maximum frequency. So I have 5 of 1 frequencies, right? So I will add each one of them. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So it will be 5. So how are we going to solve this means? If you look at the constraints, if you look at the constraints carefully, the maximum value of the maximum value of the element can be only 100, right? So using this, what I'll do is I'll create an array. I'll create an array of uh, array of 100 elements and since since the uh, element value cannot cannot exceed 100 you know all the uh, i can store the frequencies of the elements in in this array so what i'll do is i'll just traverse through the array it's and i'll see the element the element is 100 so i'll go to the index or the one index and i'll increase the value by one initially all the values will have zeros here 0 0 0 0 0 like this now when i when i add 1 it will become 1 this means that the frequency of 1 the frequency of 1 is 1 right now i'll come to 2 i'll i'll increase the frequency of 2 it will become 1 then i'll come to 2 again i see 2 again then i'll come here and i will add again so this will become this will become 2 right then I'll see 3 and I'll go to 3 and I'll add 1. Then I'll go to 1 and I see 1. I'm sorry. Then I'll go to 1 and I go to this index and I'll increase the value. This will also become 2. Then I'll go to 4 and increase the value. Right? Now at the same time I'll keep track of the maximum, my maximum frequency. Right? Or what's the maximum frequency here? 2, right? So I'll again go through the entire array and I'll add all the frequencies whose frequency is equal to this maximum frequency. So let's try to code this up. Now as I have already said, I'll take an array of 101, right? Since the maximum value of the element is 100, right? So that's why I took one of one. Why why I took one of one means if we take one of one, the uh, the last index will be hundred. But if you take hundred, the last index will be only ninety nine, right? So when we have a element of hundred, then it will throw us a uh, index out of bounds error. So I'll traverse through each uh, each element in the nums and I'll go to that index and I'll add 1, right? And then at the same time, I'll keep track of the maximum frequency. In maximum frequency equals initially 0, right? Now, 
my max frequency is add dot max of max frequency comma array of field now what i'll do is i'll again traverse through the i'll i'll traverse through this frequency array and i'll see if this frequency is equal to equal to my max frequency i will add this to my count i'll declare a count variable in count equals to zero and at the end i'll just return the count value let's try to submit it it's getting submitted but What's the time and space complexity? The time complexity is we're having a loop with where we are looping from zero to hundred, right? Oh, sorry, we're looping through the entire array, and the array size can be order of n, right? So order of n plus we're again traversing traversing to through the frequency array, right? So at most it can also be order of n. So our time complexity is this, and our space complexity is since we are using an extra space of 100 our space complexity can be order of 100 which we can also say it order of n since the n value is n value is 100 right that's why so in the interview the interviewer might ask us to optimize the solution by by reducing the number of passes here we are we are uh, looping two times right but in the interview the interviewer might ask us to reduce the number of times we are looping so we we, we just need to solve this using one pass here we are having two passes right so let's try to let's try to analyze what we can do in order to optimize this now let's look at this example in order to uh, to uh, in order to uh, optimize the solution. Now what I'll do is when uh, I'll, I'll keep a maximum frequency variable. Initially it will be zero. Now what I'll do is I'll come here and I see that. It's one, right? So I'll go to the frequency array and I'll increase the value. It will become one. Now I see that this element's frequency is greater than maximum frequency, right? So what I'll do is I'll increase my maximum frequency to one and I'll have a count variable. Since this element is occurring more number of times, you, so, since this is the maximum frequency, right? So I'll I'll keep this as my frequency. This has my maximum count. Then I'll again come here and I see two, right? So I'll come to two and I will add one. Now I see that this frequency is equal to the maximum frequency, right? These two are equal. So, so as I have uh, as we have already did, when when these two are having two, the two, right? And the maximum frequency is also two. Then we are adding these two, right? And at, at this point, our maximum frequency is also one, and this frequency is also one. So we need to add this, right? So this value will become two. Now I'll come to three. I will add one, and I see that this frequency is also equal to the maximum frequency. So I will add this frequency to my count. So this will become three. Now I'll come to four. I'll do the same thing, one, and the maximum frequency is also one, and my count will become four. Now I'll come to three. Now this will become two, right? So is this equal to my maximum frequency? No, right? So so this becomes my maximum frequency, right? So because this frequency is greater than my already existing maximum frequency, so the current frequency becomes my maximum frequency, and my count will also become this frequency, right? Because because till this point what are the number how many elements are there with the with this frequency two frequency there is only one element right so we need to add the frequency as our count 
so it will become 2 then I'll come to 2 and I'll also add 2, the, 2 to this right now I see that this frequency is also equal to my maximum frequency so I will add this frequency to my count so my count will become 4 then I'll come to 1 I will add 1 to my count so this will also become 2 and my maximum frequency is also 2 which is these two are equal right so I will add this frequency to my count as well so this will become 6 then I'll come to 5 and I'll add 5 um, I'm sorry add 1 to the fifth index but this is less than the maximum frequency our maximum frequency is currently 2 but my frequency is 1 so uh, I won't do anything so if you observe carefully we got 6 as the answer and the maximum frequency is 2 and the number of elements with the maximum frequency is 3 right so our answer should be 6 and we got 6 so this is how we are going to solve this let's try to code this up so initially I'll keep a frequency array u int of 101 and I'll keep a maximum frequency equal to 0 my count equal to 0 now what I'll do is I'll traverse through each element and if and I'll add 1 to the frequency right if my frequency of this element is greater than my maximum frequency then what I'll do is maximum frequency equals to frequency of ELE and my count will also become frequency of ELE right else if, if my frequency is equal to equal to max frequency then I'll add it to my count right count plus frequency of ELE and I'll, at the end I'll just return the count yes guys uh, it's getting accepted and if you find the video helpful like the video thank you